Welcome everyone, Simon here from the Wells of Wall Street, back on video for IOTA video here. Guys, absolutely fantastic to kind of see you all again. Well, I can't see you, you can see me. That's all that matters. So guys, IOTA, we're gonna go into the chart in a bit anyway. Um, but first of all, let's do a quick update here on the staking aspect of IOTA. So for me personally, I moved some IOTA over to this. As you knew, we did the testing video for you guys a while back on how to stake IOTA. If you uh, haven't got involved with this yet and you want to get some assembly tokens and shimmer tokens, um, you do have 82 days left, so you can still add them right now. Um, go and check out that video on how to do so, getting your IOTA off the exchange onto this uh, Firefly wallet that we're looking at now. So as you can see, in fact, if I just move that way a bit, uh, you might be able to see that we've got 12.7 million um, shimmer tokens there and 51.34 uh, assembly tokens. Now, um, people were asking in the comments um, the other day when we last did an IOTA video, what's the price points of these two? Well, some of the, the aspects of this, and especially when you're looking at things um, when you have token creations based on staking, a lot of them don't have prices, um, but I'm sure maybe at the end of these 80 odd days, um, we might have a bit more information on price points and these two tokens. But at the moment, they're kind of, I guess, in like a minting stage, if you like, um, of being created. So who knows what the value may be? I mean, it'd be very nice if Shimmer was a $1, wouldn't it? But that's not going to happen. Um, I'm very sure the supply is quite big um, on both of these assets. But saying that, from what I've been reading, um, IOTA holders, I think there's a good 64, 65% of IOTA holders are now staking. So that's quite a, a really significant number. So hopefully um, enough as well to be, um, you're really accumulating some significant numbers in both these tokens. I'm going to add some more IOTA uh, later this evening. Uh, when I finish with this video. But yes, very, very exciting to see the development of this over the next few months. So that's just a quick touch point on that. And of course, do go check out the IOTA website for more information and all of our previous videos as well. We've done a great intro, if I say so myself, a good intro to IOTA a while back, um, a few months, ages ago now actually. Um, IOTA for me and, and Steve is one of the critical projects or assets in our portfolio. Um, we talk about the, the DAG infrastructure or what they call Tangle, uh, very much of a huge mechanism of what's behind the likes of machine to machine learning automation in the world uh, through many, many different sectors. And what I loved about this one as well is the, the factor of it being very heavily involved already. With the likes of the European Commission, for example, um, essentially advising and integrating systems as we speak and also working arguably maybe not directly just yet but working alongside in those capacities with the likes of our other favorite projects for example uh, the likes of ripple stellar uh, energy web foundation just to name a few but of course i to very much um you know at the top of top of our radar i think it's gonna be a phenomenal phenomenal project moving forward um and also um you know like i said do go check out our other videos. Um, we have a multitude of different sectors and projects that we cover on our channel, um, including this fabulous one of IOTA as well. I still can't believe it. That was five days ago since the last one. I always feel like it's just yesterday or the day before. But anyway, uh, do also follow us on Twitter. Um, we do some crazy things there and announcements and stuff like that. Um, actually, I think the follower list is growing quite fast. I think it was only on like 900 earlier today. So... I uh, don't know what's going on. Maybe we're just we're getting popular, but who knows? Um, so do check us out on there as well. We love the community. We respond to everything, uh, whether that be comments on YouTube, on Twitter. Um, you, know, you can go and suss that out if you want and prove that uh, I'm correct in that, that um, statement that I just made. Um, but yeah, very much so, guys. Obviously, I said IOTA is, is really important for us here. Um, at the Wells of Wall Street. So I'm just going to move myself uh, over to the left-hand side in a second as we go into the chart for um, IOTA. So let's see where we've gone in the last sort of five days um, in the charts for this awesome, awesome project. So as you can imagine, and we covered this in a previous video, we, we did mention like with this staking opportunity, 
Um, if you look kind of like a while back, uh, we had some good influx of IOTA purchasing. Um, and that was probably in, in conjunction really with the IOTA launching uh, the staking platform on Firefly. And what tends to happen is um, some people either get bored or they think, oh, it's too late. Um, there's a lot of exchange issues with people trying to get the IOTA off exchanges into these wallets uh, of Firefly. So there's a couple of reasons why this is dropping down really, but also you've got to anticipate people like FOMOing in, maybe not understanding the project or maybe just seeing green and going, oh yeah, I want a bit of this. Getting to these top points where obviously people have already staked across um, and then the price has kind of suddenly mo stopped moving. Um, I think in general, IOTA is quite an under the radar project. I don't think obviously like you get all the mainstream um, assets out there, of course, but I think IOTA is doing its thing behind the curtains as it were um and it's maybe not reflecting the price point in terms of its technology and stuff compared to other projects um not necessarily in its own industry or sector but i mean just in general um and that's kind of a few reasons really io2 is obviously in play right now its ecosystem is building but the real infrastructure elements are coming for sure in the future maybe in a couple years time a few years time but that's not to say that we won't get some significant gains in the hopeful upcoming uh, bull run whenever that may be um so you know we've had previous all-time highs up here around two dollars sixty odd and um, so there's plenty of room in the tank from our current position to that point um, but i do think we will go beyond that um i, I i'm still strongly believing that we'll see well over five dollars uh, in the coming bull run um, hopefully in a few months time whenever it starts kicking off uh, but since that point there are still good opportunities to get into iota if you haven't done so already uh, i was fortunate enough to pick up some iota around that sort of 60 70 cent mark saw this nice pull up i didn't sell any um, because i was just trying to accumulate iota as much as possible um, but where we are right now in terms of the chart um, we're on this bit of a come down, right? So I'm looking at positions personally, and this is not financial advice. This is something you might want to uh, consider. You know, this is what we are doing basically. Um, and obviously, we come down to this previous um, level of, uh, if you if you like calling it support, um, and this is kind of very much tracking around this 130 mark. I'm going to put a buy order down here, and I'll go into a couple of reasons why in a second. But right now, where we are touching on these historic points certainly here towards the end of december and some very critical uh, points where we've kind of bobbled up and down certainly over the last three or four months uh, what i do indicate here as well is the previous all-time high back here in april we had the big come down and then we had a nice jump up here so there's a lot of um kind of sussing out if you like of where our support and resistance lines um are supposed to be so we've had a load of different variables in amongst this as well in that in that period of time but right now where i'm looking at is down here because of these very nice interesting moves across the border especially all the way back to september as a prime example so we've got a number of drop downs here um, around the 7th of september back here on the 14th or 15th of september as well but then if you were to for example draw a line which i will do actually right now just so you guys can see uh, exactly what i'm talking about uh, if i just put a horizontal line in around about here through the middle so this orange line that we just drew drew in about 129 um so if you look across the board um we've got these very nice areas here we've got very nice areas around here in november as well as in pretty much the same sort of period in october as well and fluctuating points in september so this is quite an interesting because we haven't been able to like really push ourselves uh, quite far up in terms of price points it's always tended to drag back down which indicates to me that we've not really kind of officiated our exact real price of iota so take away all the variables and things like that in its life cycle in its current um, scenario where should iota be so I think right now we're trying to confirm this area and this could be like one of the last times we do this before a nice jump up um, and I do like the points that it's touched in the past here that is why I'm significantly interested in areas around there but also where we've drawn our area box down here because if you look across across the board again we've got really nice touch points along that way as well so I will be putting some buy orders in it sounds a bit silly 
but I know it's at 129 now, but I'm looking very nicely at around 124 and I'm going to put a buy order in just under the 120 mark as well. Maybe not as low as 117, but certainly around maybe 1.187-ish. Um, so we'll see if that plays out. I don't want to see I to come back down too much, but selfishly I kind of do because I want to buy more Iota near that $1 price. Uh, again, I was buying at that $1 mark that we saw um, a couple of weeks ago and just thinking this is an incredible opportunity um, to, to bag some. And of course now at kind of 120 or, or so, you, you're essentially having to use $2 worth to get the extra um, four or five, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, but I do anticipate some, not necessarily volatility, but I do anticipate uh, some action around this area that we're currently at. A bit of a dip down, that's where I think we'll attack this and then probably a pull back up again and maybe test that region of around 129, 130 once more to take it back up to the lower levels. Let's have a look at a couple of other things here on the other indicators that we've got at our disposal on these charts. I don't tend to put too many things on these charts. Um, I know a lot of channels out there do the Wyckoff and all of this stuff and I'm just like, um, I just want to know the, the simplicities of things at the moment and um, we could go into more detail if you want that just let us know uh, but right now i think this is quite good so we've had the nice over purchasing area here on the histogram this is where we're seeing the green motion here in the background tailing off a bit right now that's why i think we might have a bit of a a bit of a bouncing up and down around this area uh, because also on the rsi because of the staking application we had a very nice low level on the 14 day at 40 took it up to a nice 65 so not quite a double position but a good enough maybe 25 30 percent or so upwards and now we're having to drag back down so from a purchasing perspective again not financial advice but any of these areas around here especially on that 28 day and 90 day it's looking very stable i think that's the beauty of iota right now is it's stable um it's not you know, going crazy volatile. Uh, it's not doing anything fancy, unfortunately, either way. But the stability has grown there in a longer term period. So we didn't have a massive sell off, really. We haven't had a massive buy in either. So once that tails off, we're getting a bit of a balance. That's why I'm picking up on that point about finding support now at this 129.130 mark. And that's not something that just happens overnight. You do have sometimes maybe three or four months to really confirm those areas. Once we do that, once I think we get a proper bounce off that 130, that's when we'll have a crossover uh, more significantly on the MACD, which to be fair, you can't see very well because everything appears to have moved about down here. But you've got here the touch point. This is, this is almost a small critical area of whether we... Uh, bounce off that and take iota upwards or pull it down a bit more that's why i'm putting those areas in down there i don't think it's going to be a long-term thing uh, but there is something in my mind there's just something in my mind saying let's get these areas ticked off um but could we come down lower could we come down to this maybe 117 uh, which is our lower region could we come lower than that could we come back down to these areas where we tested before say 104 again so I'll be inclined if we do get down to that 117, I might put a USDT order back at that 104 if and only if we start switching over on this MACD. If it switches over, goes into a bear mode, I may just do that. So this is why we're going to do a video in a couple of days time to see exactly which way we've gone. But right now, if we just go a bit closer, you can just about see it's going to touch soon. So is it going to bounce off? Is it going to level off? Are we going to have a bit of fluctuation back and forth or is it going to just drop straight through? This is where we are with IOTA right now. So just a bit of caution is what I'll say is that there's probably going to be a few opportunities if you haven't obtained IOTA yet and you want to save a bit of money here and there. And that might be some areas to potentially look at. That's what I'm doing. Like I said, not financial advice, but it's, it's down to you guys and do research on the project as well. You know, I'm, I, I speak highly of IOTA. We've done a lot of research behind it, but you guys might want to do some of that yourself. So check out our videos, check out other channels, videos, some really good ones out there. Um, and also make sure that you research the project in general as well. Check out the roadmap and this, that, and the other. And really definitely, definitely understand uh, DAG technology um, and also IOTA's Tangle um, 
theory as well so really exciting stuff from Oto guys we're going to wrap that up there I want to say thank you again for watching and thank you again for subscribing and if you have not done so already please do make sure that you go and do that but until the next video guys we will um, wish you all a happy new year and we'll see you in the next one bye bye